Once upon a time, there was a planet called Earth, which evolved and developed and became a great globalized planet. And in that beautiful world, so full of opportunities, all kinds of things were created. Advanced technology, science, the internet. Some things, however, were not globalized. And to this day, health, education, basic sanitation, housing, peace, decent employment, and even food are still far from being accessible to all people in all parts of the world. Among the things that have not been globalized on this planet is wealth. The rich become richer and richer, while the poor continue to be marginalized and excluded. The fact is, however, that no single economic system is capable of doing away with poverty unless there is political will to do so. On this planet, money is used to generate more money. The volume of financing is 70 times greater than the global economy itself, a tremendous economic process that benefits a mere 10% of the world's population. Nevertheless, there are feasible solutions that can be achieved by making good use of the financial system's own technology and huge dimension. On this planet, people are also treated in very different ways. Not because we respect and value differences, but because some people believe that they are better than others, and consequently, they believe they have more rights than others. In the case of women, gays, and transgender people, the situation is extremely serious. They suffer the consequences of socioeconomic inequality and gender violence and frequently, their fundamental rights are violated, exacerbating even further their vulnerability to HIV and AIDS. For some time now, on this increasingly unfair planet, we have seen how products and services flow around the world at high speeds, while social problems become worse and worse in all regions and are only solved very slowly. Crises of all sorts, food, energy, violence, finance, climate change, continue to be boosted by a development model that has become globally adopted to benefit most, a rich minority. In the 2009 financial crisis, $3.5 trillion were hastily mobilized to save the hides of bankers and big businessmen, while at the same time, more than 1 billion people around the world continued to be denied access to their fundamental human rights. With the subsequent increase in unemployment and hunger, there are now more people than ever in a situation of social vulnerability. However, one thing that has never been globalized in this globalized world is the idea of co-responsibility and solidarity. In the post-2009 period, it is precisely those rich countries that were responsible for the financial crisis that are reneging on their commitments to international cooperation agreements with developing nations that have, among other things, been responsible for the reduction achieved in deaths from curable diseases. Although it is perfectly possible to prevent and treat HIV and AIDS, for example, currently, the funds for combating the pandemic are being cut back.
Another thing that fails to be globalized on this planet is information on international financial transactions. There are those who say, and those who can prove, that in fact there is sufficient wealth and money in the world to solve all its problems. The adoption of a very tiny tax by the monetary and stock exchange markets, for example, would be enough to enable the achievement of all the Millennium Goals within the next 10 years and to change the development model for the 21st century. Two thousand eleven is a special year in which it could become possible to change this planet for the better. But we need to act quickly. At the upcoming G20 meeting in November, governments could decide to dedicate a tiny percentage of the world's global financial speculation capital to solving most of the world's social problems. Great responsibility lies with all countries. As members of the G20, they need to discuss and agree on the creation of a tax on financial transactions as a way of guaranteeing authentic human and economic development in the world at large. Taxing financial transactions. Take on this idea.